guys, this barracks here for a second video. Um, regarding comments on the audio in the last video, as a Supernatural Paradox has put it, uh, what's wrong with the audio? Like, and uh, I don't know. I think it was a bug from when uh, my recorder kind of updated, because that's also I explain uh, Rise of Russia with that. It actually deleted my Rise of Russia videos. And uh, I'm going to have to start a new one now because I don't have Rise of Russia now. Because I had like three videos done already and uh, I can't really just start out in the middle of something. So I'm going to have to restart a new one. So I was uh, thinking maybe like a, trying out like an 1809 maybe. 1809. You know what? Let's play Switzerland just because. Get lots of food. Got a farm. We've got troops. Now, I think a goal for today would be either get Prague, Vienna, or even try to put troops up near Berlin. Is it the closest enemy except for maybe Barcelona or Cagliari from Sardinia? And I think we're gonna try to move here. We've got a pretty good town to start with, actually, for a one city town or country, I guess. You can't really just have a one city town, it's kind of how they all are, right? Where do suburbs count? I don't know, I'm running out of food. I'm too poor to buy more. I'm just gonna borrow yours. Hope you guys don't mind. Well, Switzerland was in a war, apparently, but not pretty good in the war. Sorry if I'm checking my notifications throughout the video, I'm just checking the time because I don't want to make the video too long or anything. I'm gonna have you hold that on them. Oh, it's 15 to 40 production. Okay, I think we're good then. Okay, let's go there, farmer. Well, before we get any further, I want to check out my uh, general. See how he's doing. He is two. Uh, yeah, two guard cavalry, and he he sucks. No offense, Switzerland, but your general sucks. Well, hopefully it's better than uh, this guy. Would... Yeah, he's better than this guy, alright. We should be... Should I? Do I want to? Yeah, I'm doing it. Sorry. If I do that like two more times, I believe they're gonna turn green instead of blue or red, and they're gonna attack both sides. So, maybe that's the way we could do it later on. Just Switzerland versus everybody. Neutral versus the non-neutrals. Because I could just take that right there. Nah, I'm not going to. I don't want to be a jerk. Yet. We are gonna help our uh, Italian friends out here. Yeah, we are definitely better than that. But he's also got a fence. A fence is like... It decreases the uh, attack of cavalry and stuff. Because then you'll have to go like bunker that decreases like artillery, I believe it is. Then you have trench that decreases um what was it? Trench decreases infantry. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Now we're just gonna move our artillery in and start bombarding them. The artillery. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's even better. He's got like one health left, probably. Be willing to bet money he's got one health left. 
I'm really hoping uh, France can uh, defend against Great Britain because I don't want to deal with uh, Great Britain on one side and the Austrian Hungarians or Holy Roman Empire on the other. I can't remember which one they are. Try some a little experimental. Let me see if the enemy can take it, and then I'm gonna take it from the enemy. Cause that way, I win. Yep, they take it. I shoot them, and then I take it, and I don't have to get them mad at me when I take it now. But I'm gonna upgrade my city and boost my money making. And it already looks like Britain loaded. Uh, uh, Britain lo landed. Gosh, I cannot speak today. I am very sorry for that. But they have already landed on France. Here, and they have something there. But that's not looking good already because they do have like four generals like in one place right there. And I'll. I don't want all of them coming into one spot over here and completely destroying us. But I think Vienna would be a good uh, objective for today. Let's see if we can get it. Or maybe we should try moving down for a grab or Bratislavia. I believe that's how it said. Don't mind that, that's for another game. We're gonna take out the guards. Got the cavalry. And we didn't even do that. Come on, you had one job. It's not gonna give me much money, but hey, it's some, right? Oof. Looks like Great Britain is gonna completely destroy France now, apparently. So we better get troops up on the other side, maybe. Hey, get back here. I'm not done with you. Ha uh, Killed you. I think maybe a good tactic is to start taking farms. Because then they'll get an, a morale decrease, and then when they don't have enough food, they'll completely go into confusion. And what confusion is, they will not attack back when you attack them. Now hopefully we can meet up with the Turks... So we can have three generals right in one spot and maybe go for Budapest, which they do have machine guns and this guy's got. Okay. He is definitely going to be a hard one to take because he got added stuff to him and he's on a machine gun, which is only effect this is effective against uh, infantry, like severely effective against infantry. And it's also effective on a uh, cavalry. So I think we're gonna have Zergeb Zergeb today, and uh, then we're gonna move it to Bratislavia, and then I think we're gonna go for Budapest. I think we're actually gonna go for Budapest and go around back here and go for Vienna, or maybe even go for Brunn, and then Prague. Maybe I think we might even go for Prague. I don't know quite yet. It hasn't happened, so I guess we'll figure that out later when it actually happens. But I think, oof, I think France needs to get keep Napoleon in Paris. You know, Napoleon probably the best general in the game. I mean, it was named after him, right? But I don't. I think it was really named after him because of the Napoleonic Wars. But who knows? I mean, besides the people that made the game. Who else knows? There we go, that's a better way to put it. We start upgrading the heck out of this one too. So we can get more money. I think I'm gonna save my money so I can upgrade towns instead of, you know, upgrading the uh, stables. Because they just don't give you much money when they when they're upgraded, so I'm gonna leave those be for now. Let's start moving and that gun is down. Onwards to Bratislavia. And yeah, then I do think we're just gonna go for Budapest. 
No, we're gonna go for Buddha and then Pest because, you know, it wasn't one city back then. There were two that were grown so big, they expanded and met in the middle. And they just formed one city. New Hyper Gate Bratislavia today. So, I think I'm gonna name this, uh... I don't know what I'm gonna name this. I'm trying to think of a funny name, because it's non-neutral Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland. Oof. We could take Munich, but... Ooh, I want to take Munich so bad, but I don't want to cripple them. Or do I? Do I want to? I don't know. Looks like all of these are damaged over here already. So that's not going to be good for us. Um, I'm just keep moving. Yeah, Switzerland's secret. Ah, that'd be a good one, actually. And what's the secret? To take over the world. And it looks like Wallachia and the Turks are trying to take over Pest already. That. Okay, you... What do we want you to do? We want you to take that. That farm, right? Yeah. No, no don't take the farm. You need to go up here and help uh, against this guy. He... I'm not even gonna try to say his name, but he's a really good guy uh, to have on your team. They have some of the best generals over here. Whoa, okay. Like, this guy is kind of good for a cavalry. But of course, he's on a cavalry. He's not on cavalry because that's what he's good at. Because they never seem to put him on what they're good at. And Poland already lost Krakow, and they're being attacked by the Russians, and they haven't gone very far. They have. They have Danzig. They need to put something there. We're gonna get it going to the next turn. Ooh, Serbia died. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, Serbia was against us, I'm pretty sure. Where were they? I don't know. Yeah, they were. And all we need to do is get rid of uh these guys. Moldavia, I believe. Yeah, Moldavia. Okay. Second guessing myself for a second there. We need to take out two Sicilies now, because they have farms. They're going to be really hard to uh, take over, which hopefully this guy can deal with. Yeah, okay. But we're going to start uh, bombarding Buddha. And how do you have a morale decrease already? You got enough food, I think. Which we need to really start taking, because we want them to be uh, as weak as possible when we attack them. Looks like the Turks have brought on their own gun, and they've already taken Pest. Good job, Wallachia. We're just going to go over here now. See if he does as much damage. Yep, he still does pretty good damage. Okay. Ah, uh, just what I was fearing. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. When we lose him, we'll, uh. Yeah, we're just not even gonna think about that. Because that wouldn't be really good for us. Because he's a. Kind of a. I guess he is kind of a pretty good, uh, cavalry general. But we definitely don't want to lose him. Stop moving, Turkey. We want you to stay and keep them in a morale decrease. Which I guess they're already in one, but... We need this. We want this. If you take it, we'll take it back. But yeah, definitely think France is gonna start dying soon. So it's usually the team you play for, which in my case it's blue, that always loses. And you're the only one that can basically stop it. Okay, mine. Thank you for contributing to the great empire of Switzerland. Be 
have put ourselves on the map, as you would say, I guess. I'm going to start upgrading Buddha. That's already an objective, isn't it? Was that an objective yet, or...? No, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, I guess we'll try to keep going north then. Alright, I'm at the end of the video soon. It's getting kind of long, I guess. Maybe not as long as some of the other ones I've tried recording. Good job, Vienna and... Yeah, Vienna and Prague were our objectives. I was gonna make Buddha and Pest both of them next videos, but I guess I'm already jumping ahead. So, I guess that's a good thing though, right? Yeah, we're gonna keep going this video and keep this video going until someone takes Vienna. It's gonna be either us or an ally. So it might be a longer video, I don't know. But, I guess we will find out. I'm doing it. Thank you. I don't care if it's discourtesy. It's free land, man. You shouldn't have left it open. I do think we need more troops in. I think we're gonna get some uh, guards. Yeah, we get some guards. And he's already better than our general. Okay, I think we might be losing a general pretty soon, guys. I think we might just move back and get another gun there. Yeah, we need a big gun. Big one. And we can't afford a big one, so we're gonna get a small one. Right? Okay. Looks like Napoleon's trying to take care as much as possible. Doing pretty good, I think, but they already lost Brussels, which is actually capital of Belgium, I believe. Which there is no Belgium, because Belgium was French, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. In fact, the double morale decrease. Do some artillery shelling. Any good swift attack. Almost matching their damage, or he's almost matching ours. At least it's not like 21 to 61 or 19 or 61 or something. I've had that before, and it sucks. Or the one time I had one damage to 98. That was horrible. Worst attack I've ever seen. I do think one of us is getting Vienna today. Should put him in the double morale to decrease first. If I'm gonna use a first aid box. Don't, don't mind that. Not cheating, I bought it with medals, which I earned. So it's not cheating. It's just holding on to my uh, general a bit longer. Right? Right. Okay. Okay, I guess we can't put him in a double this time. Guess we'll just uh, keep artillery shelling him. He's doing pretty good on him. He's getting down pretty good. Now that our general is fully health, has full health, not full health. I am not good at English. Don't judge. Now he's full health, he should have a full attack. 31, that's a good attack to 10. Next round, someone's gonna have Vienna, and... Okay, better start, uh... Saying farewells now, I guess, so... Uh... Okay, anyway, guys, if you liked the, uh, video, please sure to let me know if you like the series of Switzerland, or the idea of it, anyway, let me know. You see, he's in confusion, so if we attack him now... He won't attack back. I think we're gonna have Vienna. But Consumer of Death, I believe it was, told me that I should play Chinatown Wars. GTA Chinatown Wars. There we go. There's more areas to conquer. Good, good speech, sir. And we are going to move up. Okay. We're gonna try to... Okay, where was the other? We have Vienna, and we were going to go for what was it like? Prague? 
Well, France owns that, and Brunn, so I guess we're just gonna have to go up and try to take Berlin now. There's a lot of troops over here. Okay, anyway, guys, I think this is a good place to stop today's video. Um, anyway, if you like the series, let me know. If you like the idea of Switzerland, let me know. You know Non-nuclear Switzerland. Kind of funny, actually. But, uh... Yeah, if you want me to play any other games, let me know. Just like uh, Consumer of Death told me, GTA Chinatown. I'm actually looking into that already. But if you, any of you other guys want me to play any other games, let me know. Or any other, yeah, just any other games, let me know. Start a new series, different countries, European War. I do have World Conqueror 2, which is like, it's pretty much like European War, except with like modern tanks and stuff and... World War II era and different time periods like this, but if you guys want me to play any of that, I do have a couple modded versions because I'm supporting the modding community, I guess they said. And I'm trying to start my own mod for it too. But that doesn't matter. Anyway, be sure to let me know if you like the series. If you like the video, let me know. And I am very sorry about last video how we had to cut the series and how the audio didn't work.